Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tarr and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get Diablo 1 running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using an open source engine called Devolution. So this is a recreation of the Diablo 1 engine that's going to allow us to run this on modern operating systems, including macOS Monterey on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So the first thing that we're going to need is a copy of Diablo. So I do recommend that you go ahead and purchase a copy of Diablo from GOG.com, which is the DRM free storefront. And this is going to allow you to download this game, which I'm going to do so right now. If you'd like to find out how to extract the Windows files out of the GOG installer, then please follow the link to my video tutorial, which is going to show you exactly how to do this. Alternatively, if you go to a website like archive.org, you'll be able to find the ISO image. The only file that we need is called diabbat.mpq, and this is the file that's going to be required. So if we can find that from any source, whether it's from a CD or an ISO on the internet, or from the GOG.com download, then that's the asset that we need. So I'm going to extract this file now. So now that this is completed, it's been extracted to my user folder here. So the file that we need is this one called diabdat. I'm just gonna put this on my desktop. So the next thing we're gonna do is to go to the Devolution GitHub page here. And now we're going to download this source board. So we're gonna to go to the releases section here. I'm gonna click on the latest release. And we're gonna scroll down to the bottom of here to find the macOS port. So here we have Devolution Mac x86 64 bit. We're gonna download this DMG file here. Then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder and then double click on Devolution. And then we're going to copy this into our applications folder. I'm going to drag it over to applications. The next thing we're going to need to do is to move this diabdat.mpq into the correct folder. So here we're going to go to finder and then we're going to click go and then hold down the option key to go to the library. Then we're going to go to application support. If you don't have these folders here, we can always go ahead and create them, diasurgical and devolution. Then we're going to move the diabdat.mpq into here. Also, we need to download the devolution x mpq, which I'm also going to move into the same application support folder. If you use an East Asian font, then you're going to require a new fonts.mpq. And if you want to have Polish voice support, you also need to download this mpq file here. And then within here, we're going to double click on Devolution X. If we have an issue here, we can always control click on it and click open to bypass Gatekeeper. Click open here. And this main menu is now showing up correctly. This game is currently running as an Intel application, so it's using Rosetta 2 in order to function. So one thing to note is that it is actually possible to build Devolution X as an actual ARM binary. Someone has actually done this, so I'll leave a link to this thread in the description. What you can do is download this version instead of the one in the releases tab. And if I double click on here and then double click on Devolution X, then it's going to give this error message, but we can press OK anyway. And then we can go ahead and run Devolution. So this is an Apple Silicon application, so it's built specifically for the ARM chip. However, the main caveat with this version is that it's only 1.21, whereas 1.30 was just released in November 2021. So we have to balance the fact that we have an ARM build with the fact that there is a more recent, more patched release of Devolution X. Now, it would be nice for the ARM64 build to be built automatically when the main release is built to. However, this doesn't seem to be a priority for the developers at the moment. However, I hope that it does get included in the future. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Please check out my channel for future macOS source ports coming out in the future. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.